it's Jess and Shell. Welcome to Real Talk Tuesdays with Jess and Shell, where we talk voiceover and some other things. Thanks for watching. Hey, so today we're talking about debunking the overnight success because there's no such thing as overnight success. Let's be real. Not even close. <laughs> so what were you doing last night? Were you starting a voiceover career? Yeah, no. Overnight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not even, no. <laughs> How would you define overnight success? Well, it's funny because I swear at least once a week, someone reaches out to me on LinkedIn or somewhere and wants to talk about how to get into voiceover. And and I've talked to a lot of them. I always try to help. And honestly, like I would say 85% of them, once I started describing it, they were like, that seems too hard. <laughs> they were like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm just going to go try something. I think I think the perception of it might be different, is very different than what it actually is. I think because there's so much involved, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's the technical aspect and then there's the acting aspect. And then you need to know how to run a business. Yeah. And you need to be a good You do everything. Leader. You need to work well with people and mm -hmm. you can't just learn that overnight. No, you do yeah. everything. And so my story was um, when I got, like I said, in the origin story, when I got laid off in 2013, started this full time, um, I I did a lot of research. You know, I already was doing it, but I was going into studios mostly. Um, I had to make my own studio because now you have to have that. Um, so I dug out a closet. And again, I'll tell you more on that in the booth booth episode, but dug out a closet, got, you know, talked with Sweetwater and like talked with them for a while and got the right equipment for me at that stage of my career, um, set up a home studio, started auditioning, you know, and that was like, I was all in, I was not working a regular job. That was terrifying for me. Um, and the truth is it took five years, which they say, when you start a business, it takes five years for it to really pick up. It did. It took me five years for me to make what I was making at the job I got laid off for. And then after that, it just grew and grew. It's like every, every, the first year was like, oh, okay, we're eating eggs and oodles of noodles <laughs> and, and we don't go anywhere. The second year was like doubled that. And then it like, it was like literally like on and on and on. And to the fifth year, it was like such a big deal. I was like, I made more than I made when I was a manager. Like, that was amazing. Like at a job I love. Right. And then the last, the, God, the last three years have been crazy. And partly I'm sure with the COVID stuff, I, I mean, I was able to pay off my house. Like it was amazing. That's amazing. That's the best. Yeah. So what was your, I know yeah, we all, we both had different trajectories, but yeah. Well, I mean, you know, origin story, I started off in college doing college radio and stuff and radio really doesn't pay well. And if you work at a really, really small market Christian radio station, yeah, it's like volunteering basically, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're not <laughs> so, supporting the family with that. No. And I didn't have a family back then. Right. So, I mean, that kind of worked out, but, and then we went on tour and still didn't make any money, but we got to tour the world. So, amazing. Uh, so were you an uh, overnight success, Jess, in this career? Heck no. Heck no. No. Heck no. And I, I've had a bunch of different businesses that I've like, I've, I've run a photography yeah. business. I've run a boutique mm -hmm. packaging business. And so I know Jessica is the best photographer I've ever met. Like your pictures are so stunning. I'm sorry. I had to, I had to add that in. Yeah, that's another <laughs> episode. Um, yeah, so, but but it's all of those things that you learn as you're on your journey to, you know, building a small business. So then I figured out years of how do I build a small business? What is my mission statement? What's my overall goal, your vision? How do I translate that into a website? What website do I use? Do I, Word, Word, do I use WordPress? Do I use Squarespace? But um, yeah, it's just like, you learn something and then you add it to here and then you learn something and then you step here and then you learn something. And it just, it's, it's thousands of overnights. Yeah. I feel like the people that, like I said, that I've spoken to or not all of them, but most of them, like they've been told they have a good voice and, and that's like such a small piece of it. Right. I don't even think I have a great voice, um, but it's like all I'm, the other stuff, customer service and thank you. But like, like, that's not, that wasn't, that's not what's 
help me grow the business. And and now I think many, many years ago, 20 plus years ago, you could just go into a studio. There were those people that they just showed up to the studio and they recorded and somebody else did all the work. That is no longer the case. The world is different. Everybody is competitive and they have a home studio. They may not have this kind of home studio or that kind of, but they have, they have a good sound in a closet or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they have to be everything. They're, they're accounting, their customer service, their marketing, their engineering, their voicing, they're doing every single piece of the business, which I do everything. I even do my own taxes, which is a whole nother su subject. So the short answer is there. I don't believe there's anything as an overnight success. You have to work at this as if you are opening a business, as if you're opening a restaurant, right? Or it really like is starting business. a business. The cost to entry has come mm -hmm. down so low. Yes. You can literally get a couple hundred dollar mic in yeah. a studio and it or can in a sound closet pretty with a bunch of pillows mm -hmm. and it's going to sound okay. Yeah. The business is no longer, it's, it's a lot of work and it's, you're the one, you know, the person who has to make that happen and drive that. So the short answer is I don't believe in overnight success. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the norm. <laughs> there you go. There that's, you go. That's being real. Keeping it real because it's real talk Tuesdays. Thank you for watching.